Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. And today I have empties. I have a bag and a half of empties. I've waited way too long to go through these. <laughs> Making a huge mess in my sewing room. Why is this thing so close? Oops, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Um, before I get started, just uh, want to disclose that if you watched my last stitch fix, I said I wasn't keeping the leggings and I wasn't happy with them. But as it turns out, I kept them and I'm very happy with them. I wore them today cleaning out the garage and they still fit. They're not drooping. Maybe the crotch has a tiny bit of droop, but that is me, not the leggings. And the back isn't drooping at all. I was afraid I'd have real bad butt droop on them, but not at all. And they are comfy. <laughs> And they go really well with this color because they are a dark version of this color. So, and in the other rooms, um, in this bright light, they look black. Actually, today I'm getting a little bit of the dark teal, I can see. But the other day when I looked at them, they looked black. Today I got my lights back on and stuff that weren't working the other day for some strange reason. But anyway, um, so they're not black, they're teal. And I'll move on because I got a lot of items here. And some of them may be repeats. <laughs> And lots of, um, I don't know, a lot of uh, snacky thing or, you know, frozen things because of, I think, uh, having a cold or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to start. Um, banana pops are available by lots of people. But I tell you, I think these are the best ones, this Blue Bell, because even though they're not a dairy product, these just seem creamy and not as much popsicle as maybe kind of almost like ice cream. But anyway, so those are very good. Next, we got these at Costco, and they come two in a box, which you need to know in case you <laughs> leave them in case you leave them out and thaw them. Although you're not supposed to thaw them, but I didn't read the instructions first. But these are cauliflower pizzas. Now, uh, full disclosure, we do have a pizza stone in our oven, so that does help with the with the crust and crispness or whatever. But this is the best cauliflower pizza I've ever had. We sometimes get them from Aldi and they're good, but they can be a little wet. Uh, these, these are yummy. <laughs> these are really, really good. Like I say, two in a package. This is the roasted veggie. I don't remember if they had another flavor, but veggie pizza is the only one I really like. The first time I made it, we put it on, um, pineapple on it too because we had some leftover pineapple for making pineapple and ribs which I have a video on that and that was really good on there as well I know pineapple on pizza can be a controversy but we do it at our house but anyway what I wanted to say though is if you get these I think it says 12 to 15 minutes at 425 now I kind of think my oven is off a little but anyway it definitely takes the 15 for me if not longer but yeah, very good, very much worth a try. All right, then, you know, this, I don't know when I got this, but, um, and where I got it, I don't remember. But anyway, I was in the mood for like peas, but uh, I don't remember what the situation was. But anyway, these are pretty good. These are like already seasoned. They have looks like little bits of green beans in there. I don't remember that. It's been a while since I had these, but I remember that they were good. Not, you know, they're not as good as soaking the peas yourself, like black eyed peas. These are field peas, which were my mom's favorite. They're a little um, sturdier or something. Anyway, they were good. They were very good. But again, not as good as soaking your own peas and cooking them slowly and, with, you know, everything, but pretty darn good. Okay. I'm going to save these. <laughs> All right. I've done these before, but I think I've always the, I think I've always done the milk chocolate and I am a milk chocolate gal, but when it comes to frozen bananas, yeah, I think dark chocolate is better on a frozen banana. As you can see, this is when I had a sore throat. <laughs> so, uh, and sometimes with diverticulitis, like ice cream really seems to, and milk, it seems to help my stomach. I don't know. All right, so next, Mayfield Creamery ice cream sandwiches. I am not a vanilla ice cream person, but I do like an ice cream sandwich a lot, as you'll see, because there's more. These were really good. They were, um, you know, a little smaller one, but they were good. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely like these. Nice little package. They were, I think they were upright this way. 
So I don't remember how many it said. Oh, six. Six in the pack, so that'll tell you. They're not, you know, the real, like, long ones that you see at the convenience stores. Um, okay. I don't remember where we got this, but it's Holmes Smokehouse Polish Kibasa Small Batch Sausage, which was really good. And it's been a while, but I believe that this is one of those where the casing is a little hard, or I use the term indigestible, but it may not really be indigestible. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, but it was good, and we used it, I think, in the Black Eyed Peas, actually. All right, so next, I don't have one with me, but it is in one of my gardening videos. These are what they call data markers. These are these stainless steel tags that you use for your plants. I use them for the orchids and you write the name on it or you can write the date or whatever, but it's it's like cardboard inside. I don't know. I shouldn't say stainless steel. It's more like aluminum. And so when you write, it makes an impression that you can read, you know, that it's dug into. And so they say use for valve identification, laboratory analysis, coding and dating, and outdoor storage. It says that the identification will last for years because uh, you don't want to lose your orchid tags because then you don't have any ID. You don't know what orchid tag you have. All right, so these next two kind of go together. And this is something that when I got it, I was really gung-ho and used it a lot. And I find myself not using it, and I don't know why. I should be, but anyway. And it is, and I, I think it was. I was doing really good with my... Um, lose it app and calorie counting and so th this was super helpful for that because now I'm back to sometimes drinking one soda just one soda a day though <laughs> all right there's other brands this is not the name brand this is free beanie but it's a water flask thing that there it is has comes with and you can buy more that's what this is about of these flavor things so that when you drink the water your nose is inhaling the scent and so it's like you're drinking flavored water but you're not you're just drinking drinking plain water now I can put chipped ice in here uh, you know to make it cold and stuff but you have to be careful because if you build the ice dam in there too much then the straw part doesn't go down that well um, I did put some carbonated water in there and that was a problem it, uh, I had it closed for a while when I opened it up. <laughs> so I'm going to do that again. I think I did carbonated water twice and I only had that happen the second time. But anyway, I won't do it again. But yeah, so this is what the, this is the variety pack of the flavors. But this is what the thing looks like too. So yeah, I, I like that. I can see that being really good for like kids, big kids like me, um, you know, or people who are trying to drink more water but get, you know, tempted by flavored things. I drink a lot of LaCroix, and this can kind of replace that. But I do will say that when I got this thing, it had how many flavors, this many variety of flavors, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19 of them. Um, yeah, out of that, maybe five that I liked. The soda one actually was good, the cola one. And the strawberry is great. Um, pineapple was good. Uh, I can't remember what else. Great. Some of these just were not good at all. And then some I still haven't tried yet because I didn't want to go open them all. But yeah, it was, oh, it was blueberry or grape. One of those two, which I thought I would like, was really disappointing. So you just have to find the one you like. All right, so now let me get the big bag out. Yes. <laughs> Got a whole trash can full of, or a recycle bin full of stuff. All right, so this is from Costco. And I don't remember what event I got them for, but, or maybe Jerry bought them for me, I don't know. But 36 macaroons, macaroons, however you say it. And it was a variety pack of chocolate, vanilla, caramel, raspberry, praline, and coffee. And uh, yeah, I definitely had a preference for the raspberry. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I, I, coffee actually was better than the praline for me. The praline tasted pretty buttery, like 
you know, flat out butter. I'm not a huge butter fan. Um, I like butter on popcorn and butter on corn on the cob. And I cook with butter. I like cooking with butter. Uh, but anyway, and caramel was super sweet, I remember. Chocolate was pretty rich. It was a pretty deep chocolate taste. Uh, vanilla was pretty sweet too. Did I already say that? Not as much as the caramel, but yeah. So anyway, for me, raspberry was the winner. When we had this before, I liked one of the berries, strawberry, raspberry, and I also liked pistachio, but that wasn't in here. All right, so... Um, I usually buy cereal at Aldi. I like their cereal, less sweet, but um, sometimes it's just more convenient that when you're going to Publix for something to get it. Because Hubby doesn't shop at Aldi, I do, and he shops at Publix. So we got this, and uh, it was good, but again, I like Aldi a little better because it's a little less sweet than this, but this is good. But either one of them I prefer over the name brand because that gets really sweet. Alright, so Costco. I got some bao. Garlic barbecue chicken bao. Did not get to eat very many of these because we got them right before the hurricane. Um, which hurricane? Well, it had to be um, Milton because we didn't really lose power with Helene. We lost power with Helene, but only for like eight hours. I can smell this. Wow, I can still s smell those in here. That's weird because they were cry back. But anyway, um... I wasn't a huge fan of these. I like Bao, but these were a little too sweet and I don't know. They just, they didn't hit me that great. We lost one whole package of them. They come in two packages of six and we were able to eat part of one. Jerry didn't, I did. Um, but I didn't finish it and then, like I say, the power went out. So we lost everything in our fridge and freezer. So I think maybe I had two out of the 12. Timing was just bad. But I wasn't really excited about them. You might be if, you know, but I, I don't know. I just didn't. They were a little sweet for me, I think. All right. So then we got this. And I believe this was Costco as well. Caprice salad. And it's what it really is, is some marinated mozzarella and then some uh, roasted tomatoes and basil separate. And uh, this was good. And Hubby really, really liked it. So, yeah, it's just, I mean, they're, um, I like marinated mozzarella, and I do like tomatoes and basil. Like when I make tomato pie, I, you know, use that, but not in here, but I mean, those ingredients. Although I think sometimes basil is a little strong for me. I grow it outside, but <laughs> it's a little bit strong for me. The calorie count's pretty good on this, but anyway, this was very good. It was very convenient. It's like the tomato and basil is something you could do yourself. But uh, this is very convenient. And like if you were putting a, a spread out for people, like see how it looks real pretty there. For people coming over or something, it would be great. Yeah, but we enjoyed it. All right, so we got some. Uh, Hubby's on a thing about, he was reading about how I'm kind of a fresh veggie person, except for like, well, green beans, I can do fresh or canned. And then corn, same thing. But everything else, I kind of pretty much like fresh. And he did some reading and research, and he's all about uh, fresh or frozen because of what he's reading, there's, you know, they're picked at their peak. And so sometimes they're even more nutritious. It's like the nutrition sealed in. And so more so even than eating them fresh when they've traveled or sat in the store, yada, yada. Um, I always had the opposite, that once you freeze it, you kill a lot. So I don't know which is true. <laughs> you can comment below what your thoughts are. But as a result, we have tried, I have tried uh, more um, frozen veggies than I normally do. The peas were the start of it, I think. Then we had the fire roasted Brussels sprouts, which he really liked. And you can throw these in an air fryer. So that's nice. He loves Brussels sprouts, though. So I'm not as crazy for Brussels sprouts. And for me, these were just, I don't know, they get mushy on the inside, I think. Their taste is okay. It's not a great taste. I mean, not that particular brand. I mean, uh, Brussels sprouts in general. The taste is okay. It's not great. I like cabbage, but cooked cabbage. 
but with Brussels sprouts, I, the texture of them, they, it just goes south for me. All right, so then I got two different um, stir fry veggies. And believe it or not, I got these at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I was uh, stopping at Dollar Tree for something. Okay. Okay, this all smells like the bowel again. Maybe the bowel had something else on it. I don't know. Something came out of something. Anyway, um, maybe it's the Brussels sprouts. Anyway, uh, I got these at the Dollar Tree and I was making, anytime we make those ribs with pine, around pineapple, um, there's always pineapple left. And so I thought I would, I always make a, like a, a teriyaki, chicken teriyaki or something with them. And so I didn't have any fresh veggies, but I was at the Dollar Tree for something else. And I saw these and I said, oh, I'll just get the frozen. I couldn't decide between just the peppers or the ones that had everything. So I bought one of each, which turned out to be the best thing. Cause it's not, you know, it's a dollar 25's worth of the veggies. So it's not a huge amount of them. So ha using both of them was great. Get us leftovers. Hubby's home, gotta close the door. Love him, but men are noisy. <laughs> We're getting down here anyway. All right, so then I don't remember these are from, but I'm pretty sure it's Aldi. Uh, townhouse pita Mediterranean herb. I'm not always a big fan of Mediterranean herb. I don't hate it, but I often like just garlic or when it comes to things like this, just garlic or just um, whatever. And, uh, but these were really good. I did. I like these a lot for, especially cons considering that I'm, that, that isn't the one I normally go for, but apparently it's what they had or what was on sale. Okay, Minnie. Minnie's into the packaging that the kielbasa was in. All right, so yeah, when I wasn't feeling good, hubby's like trying to do something to make me feel better. And I said the only thing I wanted was ice cream sandwiches and he was going to Costco. So he got this big thing of these Oreo ones. These are the big Oreo wafer. I think these are like cookies and cream. I don't see that on there, but that's what it looks like. And that's what they were. These are delicious. But I definitely don't need a 24 pack of these. <laughs> that little six pack, much smarter. <laughs> All right. This is something that I bought online. I don't remember. If, I don't think it was TikTok. I think, it, listen to her. Men, you cannot, you don't need to be in that. Hold on. <laughs> Took it away. I don't. I don't want her to swallow any plastic or anything. Anyway, so these are. Oh, hubby eats um, no grains and a high protein diet. So I got him these carnivore crisps, which are like really super dehydrated um, chicken pieces of chicken to the point that they're like. I would say they're like potato chips, but they're maybe even harder than that and stiffer. They're almost like a dog treat kind of thing. And uh, he wasn't crazy about them, but you know, he, before he gets stuff, he researches it, spends a lot of time, whatever, and I didn't, and he didn't. So he, you know, he wasn't behind it 100%, but I did try one. They're, they're okay. They're gluten-free, no sugar, uh, carnivore diet, made in the USA, and no hormones. But they're, they were pretty, um, like you could almost cut yourself with them. They could get kind of sharp. The dogs like them. <laughs> All right. So the last item. Oh, I hate to end on a bad note, but I am going to do just that. All right. So a hubby, when he was getting those ice cream sandwiches for me, the Mayfair ones, he said, you know what? They got these little Dole Whips here at Publix. I think it was Publix. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was Publix. And he says, uh, you want to try those? Well, I love pineapple and I love Dole Whips. So I was like, yes, right on. These things were awful. They were sour. They, I, these are, to me, were nothing like a Dole Whip. Um, yeah, I did not like them at all. Yeah. I don't know if they have sugar in them. The ingredients say pineapple puree, organic coconut cream. Honey, natural flavors, plant-based stabilizer, yeah, just and citric acid. Yeah, I didn't like them. They were disappointing. If I had liked them, 
I'd be eating them all the time. They are 110 calories for one little cup package. So that's a good manageable amount of calories for a treat. If you're having a treat once a day or whatever, that's a good manageable amount that still allows you to eat a pretty full meal at other times of the day. So anyway, those are my items. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.